Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Pillars of Eternity. In the last episode we got our head kicked in by trolls. That was pretty much the entirety of the episode. So let's rest up here, recover our strength. And hope that there is a way down. There should be some stairs around here somewhere. But there's also the hole. Oh, there's some stairs down here. But there's also the hole we could jump down if we're feeling particularly brave. I don't think I fancy jumping down an abyss. It's probably a fun idea, isn't it, though? I have a funny feeling if we keep going down these stairs, we will come across the very thing that is at the bottom of that pit. And I'm guessing it's going to be mean. I mean, of course, it could just be a shortcut. But it felt like an offering pit. Oh, bugger. Black ooze, huh? Oh, whoops. Oh, no. Wait, how can I How can I form up? Let's form up here. Oh, that's a lot of black ooze. I have... Come over here, let's get some flanking shots. Well, we used up nearly all of the spells we recovered, which is marvelous. Oh, no, Durance has still got some spells left. I guess it lasts for a while. Oh, what does this ooze? They drop money. I do like money. The ooze plasma. A congealed mass of thick and opaque jelly. I'll take it. Hey there. Oh. Wait, oh, what's down here? Is there any, uh, any loot? More money? Scroll of prayer against fear. And some silver loose. I'll take it. Let's go down some stairs. Let's hope there isn't more trolls down here. This is an old Adiri horror story about a haunted dinner party. Oh no. A rite of ancient legends. And 143 silver loose. At least we'll have money enough to uh, repair our stronghold. Speaking of which, how long do we have left? Construction has started. Nothing new to report. Nothing new to report. It's been a while. We're still building it, I think. I guess it, we only rested for eight days. Events occur at the stronghold as time elapses. The higher your stronghold's prestige, the more positive the events tend to be. However, a high security clue is also important as it can help prevent thefts and kidnappings. Is there anyone up there to kidnap? Uh, Adventures... Are opportunities for your companions and adventurers to earn while it, to earn experience while they aren't in the party. Visitors can affect security and prestige of a stronghold while they are present. Some events even offer rare items for sale during limited periods of time. I do like rare items. Let's continue to stick our head in this horrible place though, shall we? Oh, this looks... less than ideal. Ooze. Great. Do you reckon the uh, the ooze at the top of the stairs was a preview as to what horrible things we're going to be dealing with in this... on this floor? If there's more ooze, then that seems like it's a given. Hmm. Sneaky, sneaky. That's a very big room. Uh oh, what's that? A troll. I mean, a troll isn't that bad. If it's on its own, it isn't that bad. Hmm. Let's. Hey there. Let's Show see. How it's Let's see how it goes. Show them how it's done. Start off strong. Let's move me to a flanking position. Maybe I should move Kanna to a flanking position. I don't know if he gets bonuses, but he's got a range weapon, so why not? Boys. Uh. 
last tech worth it. Oof. What was that? Troll hits Durance for 27 slash damage, good lord, and hits with an additional effect, weakened for 7.5 seconds. Blythe has interrupted the troll. Blythe is hitting so hard, he's hitting with 24. Good lord. I like to think we just shot it dead. Kana hits the troll for 40 pierce damage. Aha. I wonder if his reload animation is stopping him casting. I'll scan, I'll take mm -hmm. it. Light, flame, and sound. Oh, something over here to loot. More money? Sure. We'll put it in the renovation fund. I wonder what that whistling was then. It was in the bloody soundtrack. <laughs> I was like, what horror awaits me? A hatchet? More money? Anything down this way? Anything hidden in the walls? There's a path down this way, which is uh, probably got more bloody trolls in it. Gotta be careful, because I don't know how to replenish my camping supplies. I assume you just buy them from shops. But I don't think I've come across any reliable shops. What's that? Black ooze. Okay, lovely. There's a pot there. With a, with a snow cap in it. Another troll. Oh, this is not a nice place to fight a troll. Show him okay, let's do what we did before. Let's move. You know what, Kana? Can you cast that? No, you need three chance first. Okay. Show Come through. Behind them has to count as a flank shot, right? There we go. Cast anything? No. Nope. Idea, I need you to just stand there and get hit. Maybe I should give him a war bow. We have that spare war bow. It just seems like the Warbow's attack speed is so much quicker. I feel like overall it's going to be doing a lot more damage. But then it's a gun, and I really like guns. <laughs> like, what does Kana hit for? Kana hits for... Oh god, it's up here somewhere. I mean, I'm hitting for 24, but that was a crit. Uh, oh my god, did Kana fire at all during this fight? This is my point, though. <laughs> uh, he fires once for the entirety of the combat, and then he's just kind of standing there reloading his gun hey for the rest of it. Mm, some black ooze in this pit. Uh, another bloody troll, huh? All right, let's move into some flanking positions again. Ah, there's some ooze back there. Uh, oh god, how are we going to deal with that? We send endurance after it, I suppose. That looks like it hurt. Ow. Okay, yeah, that's not good. Let's use some AoE magic here, shall we? I, I need it gone. Otherwise, I'm going to die. Uh, Blythe, would you do me a favor, my friend, and go over here and help your master? Okay, I'm, I'm down, but don't worry about it. We killed the ooze. With at least one defense, deflection, fortitude, reflex, or will, that is much higher than the accuracy of the character attacking it when defense is significantly above accuracy, it can be extremely difficult to score a hit and impossible to score a crit. Try to raise the attacker's accuracy, so basically it's telling me if their defense is too high, it's really hard to hit them. Great. Which is why we're getting our ass handed to us. Alright, you know what it's time for. Good magic missile. Good job, Kana. I saw you shoot that guy. Yeah, we're not that badly hurt. We got knocked down, but we're Indeed. not like... 
Yeah. Not too badly hurt. Huh? What's this? A potion of infuse with vital essence. Is that just a... Infuses the caster with vitality, giving them a temporary increase in current maximum endurance. So it's kind of like a health potion, but not quite. Veloon and Golden Skelling. Thank you. The house fund. A battle axe and some more golden. What is Veloon? Oh, we can just sell it. Okay, it's just a, it's just sure. a raw material. Right, do we want... Wait, I need, I need the skin of this troll. I want to see what's in here. More ooze? Yeah, more ooze. God damn it. Oh, lots of big ooze. Burns, why did you go in first? That's not very smart. Show them how it's done. Hey, wait, hang on. We've got a we've got a door block over here. And that's how it's done. Yeah, would you go over there? Ah, the priest is down. That's not good. Mm -hmm. Get up, Doris. You'll be always late. Get up, Doris. You'll be fine. He's been uh, he's been burned quite badly. He'll be he'll be fine. Don't worry about it. I missed something. Oh my god. Uh oh, it's a troll. Let's do the standard movement here. It was like 32 damage for Kana. 12 damage for me. And I'm firing again while he's now reloading. Just, mm. I get so many more hits in. Oh my god. Just keep smacking it, Eddie. Awesome. Take his skin. Please, no more trolls. Of course. We don't need. We don't need any more trolls. I'm kind of curious about the story of this place. Oh, is this leading me up to the place with the black ooze? Okay. The noises these ooze make. Oh god. It's just so un makes me feel so uncomfortable. Right, it's near death. It's quite fun to see Adir's health just go up. As he's in combat. Everybody else's health goes down. Adir's health goes up. Right. So there's a bridge here we can go across. Or some stairs down. Let's go across this bridge. Got skulls on it. What could what could possibly go? Oh. Beetles, huh? Hmm. Can't really get into a flanking position without running straight through them. Can I run straight through them? Let's find out. Can I? I need you to do the same thing. That's a solid no. Oh dear. Hey there. Uh, how's Blythe doing? Blythe is getting his. He's not doing great. Oh dear. Okay. The deer may be surrounded on all sides. Ah, the skeletons to the rescue. I think our skeletons are about to disengage or disappear, I should say. The deer is hurt quite badly. We might have to rest again, you know. I'm starting to think that we might be too low level for this place. Hey there. Oh, so why am I standing there like a lemon? No, oh, I think I am actually going to give him the war bow. Stand still. I can't be doing with this him standing there doing nothing. But he could be casting, I suppose. Let's try it. No harm in trying it. Go in here. Uh, oh dear. Uh, there's a war bow in here somewhere. Oh god, is there a salt button? <laughs> Hang on. There we go. Oh my god. How many Zarips do you think we've killed? Uh, war bow, here we go. Oh, it's like can't be changed in combat. Should have seen that coming, huh? There we go. Not bad. Let's try it. Put the gun in here for now. Beetle shell. The segmented armor-like shell of a very large beetle. Hey there. Following your lead.
More beetles. Lovely. Brave does the last you leave. Oh dear. This. This is whoa, why is everyone running? Uh -oh. Hang on. Durance is really badly hurt. Would you like to leave? Oh, if I make him leave, he's gonna die. Change my mind. Carry on fighting him. Do I have any big spells to fire out here? No, not really. They're immune to magic, right? Oh. No, he's definitely firing quicker. Okay, it's down to you, Adir. Oh, and the skeletons. Let's get rid of this bloody beetle so we can move on to the... Yeah, there we go. Okay. Let's send endurance. I'm sure it'll be fine. It's a deer's health I've got to watch out for. Hey there. And that's how it's done. Do it. Oh, <laughs> there he goes. He tried. I don't think we've come across a boss of this area yet, so I, I really should camp after this. I'll teach you a lesson. Yell them skeletons. 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 There we go. <laughs> Skeletons just standing there like, no, nah, no, nah, we don't need to do anything. Oh, we all leveled up. That's awesome. I may worry about leveling up after the episode, though. As much as I probably should level up. Oh, hello. Resolution, a unique one-handed saber. It has been alleged that the Saber Resolution can be traced back to an ancient line of warriors predating the formation of the Adir Empire. Though the legitimacy of the claim has always been in dispute, what is known is that the Saber has been passed down through generations of Yenwood Earls, having accompanied them across the sea during the colonization of the Dyerwood. The Saber was held as a symbol of their noble lineage, and most formal portraits of the family include the blade in some respect. It was the youngest of the line who endeavoured to repair the weapon so that it might serve more than ornamental purpose. The blade was reforged into a weapon that struck hard and true, and the young Earl wielded it during his efforts to reclaim the keep of Cade Nua, traditional stronghold of the Earl of Yenwood. Both sword and bearer were lost, never to be seen again. Several missions were undertaken to retrieve the weapon when the War of Defiance arose, but none ever met any success. What does it do? It's fine. Okay, grazes converted to hits. Plus 20% damage, 15 to 22 slash damage. And we could give it to someone like Durance. Hmm? But I don't know, he's unique. He has his own unique staff, doesn't he? It is very slow. Obviously, Adia had a saber, but I do think that the... Uh, the flail is working quite well for him at the moment. Durance is the only other person who is ever in melee combat, so let's, let's give it to him, why not? Did I actually pick it up? God damn it. <laughs> Just uh, actually pick it up, shall we? There we go. I mean, he looks kind of cool with it. Can he dual wield sabers? Can I, put a, can I put a knife in his off? Oh, I can put a knife in his off hand. I wonder how that works. Bye. Hmm. Mm hmm. It's not really what you'd expect your priest to be using, but hey ho, let's try it. Let's rest, because we are very badly hurt. Running out of camping supplies. Maybe I should level everyone up. Let's do Aloth. Um. I guess lore. Arcane dampener? A nullifying field? Hmm, could be useful. Rackling bolt fireball. I gotta get him fireball, right? <laughs> that was pretty easy. Yes, I just want giant balls of fire. That's all I need in my life. Giant, giant balls of fire. Yeah, perfect. Lovely. Right. Uh, oh, did I also get him arcane damn? Oh, sure, it would be useful. Idea? What can you do? Uh, let's get athletics up still for him. Uh, well, there was shield down here, wasn't there? I swear there was shield, but I think I, I already gave him something else. 
What's a vigorous defense? The fighter becomes fiercely determined to deflect all incoming blows. That sounds good. He is the tank. Uh, endurance. I'm going to just in increase your mechanics because you are basically my lockpicking man right now. S for some reason, I don't know how this happened, but uh, oh, and he just unlocked lots of new healy spells and defense spells. Mm. Yes, yeah, all these. Despondent blows. Pillar of faith. Falls down a pillar of divine judgment. Nothing beats good divine judgment. Right. And this man here, who's also law, we're all just really good at law. <laughs> okay, what is this? Lo, their headless host, the Harbingers of Doom, generates a field of terror, frightening, frightening enemies in an area of effect. One dozen stood against the power of a saint, decreases the duration of the defense against frightened and terrified. Uh, rhyme and frost followed the footfalls of Karth. Allies leave a hazardous trail of frost wherever they move. That seems kind of crap. Sure-handed Illa knocked her, her arrows with speed. Decreases reload time and increases the speed of ranged attacks for all allies. That could be very good. The fox from the farmer did run in a leap. Reduces accuracy of disengagement attacks for areas for enemies. Let's get the uh, increased reload speed. I wonder if that'll make using the gun more viable. Hey there. That's all I care about. I'm just trying to make it so I can use the gun. Uh, there is... Oh, God. Do you reckon this loops around this way? Oh, beetles. Right. Oh, you know, I haven't actually thought about how I'm getting out of here. I see it says his phrases down the bottom of his character portrait. I really should get Durance in there, shouldn't I? Get in there, swing it. You're a warrior priest now, sure. friend. Oh. This massive face appears to have somehow been shaped out of living Adra. Now that's Each ridge. Just tacky. <laughs> <laughs> Each ridge is smooth and straight. God damn it, that made me laugh. Wait, what did we just complete? I was too busy laughing. Oh no. Deep within the caverns of the Endless Blast, I found a great sculpture of a head made of Adra. The face did not resemble any historical figure I was aware of, but the craftsmanship was beyond anything I'd ever seen. Could this face be a depiction of the master below my steward spoke about? That's uh, decidedly mm -hmm. useful, I guess. I mean, how this thing must be huge. Why would you do this unless you intended the earth to fall away from it at some point? Wait, shh. God, ooze. Oh, I'm gonna have to kill it, but let's see what's over this way first. More ooze. Okay, it's not black. Oh no, it is black ooze. Yeah! Alright, well. Ah, uh, they've got a troll. Ah! Where's Dorrance in this? Let's remove the smaller ooze. So it should be quicker to kill than the troll. How well is Durance doing right now? Out of pure curiosity. Not really very often, but... Yeah, he's, he's hitting for little bits, which, you know... Extra damage. He does seem to alternate between the dagger and the saber, though, which is quite nice. Durant's probably used all of his hey goddamn there. spells. Oh, more ooze. Okay. Oh god. Okay. This might be a problem. Hey dear, I need you to go attack them. Okay. 
fuck out, we're doing well. What? Let's burn this away. Yes. Easy. This has been a very combat heavy episode, yeah. good lord. Okay, there those are the stairs down. That's what we've been looking for. I am starting to question whether I want to keep going down though. Mostly because I never know, maybe there'll be like a halfway spot or something. Because I'm gonna have to walk all the way out of here. Oh, I forgot about this ooze, didn't I? God damn it. Hey there. Move to the side. Oh. That was quick. Hey there. At least I'll have lots of ooze bits when I need the. Oh. God, why is there so many things here? Ooh, this looks interesting, though. What's that? That looks like. Oh, no, it's black ooze. It's just. Deflected weird. Reflected weird, I should say. Okay, what secrets do you hold? Uh, this room over here. Oh. Some loot in that wall over there. Yes. Get it for me, can I? A pike? And some golden obble. Most of these books are blackened and crumbling, having succumbed to mold and rot. What legible writing remains appears to be in Eld Edrin. Chest. <laughs> Ow! Bloodstone Overseer Seal. This seal appears to be Enguithian in origin, formed of a circular piece of white adra shaped around a bloodstone gem. On the back is the engraving of a sword. Sure. I don't know what that is for. Oh, great, more ooze, huh? Is that just the first ooze? Do I want to fight this ooze? Oh, there's a corpse there, so I'm going to fight it. That's a lot more than just one ooze. Oh, God. Right, okay, hang on. Get out of scouting mode, you idiots. You won't let me leave scouting mode. Oh, <laughs> you haven't been discovered. How dare you leave? Okay, that hasn't gone. Because... Oh, yeah. God. That's better. There we go. I was going to try and bottleneck them at the door, but I'm not entirely sure it's going to work. Mostly because the ooze can shoot. How much health does the troll have? Oh, no, Blythe! I shall deal with this. There we go. Adia, just stand in that doorway. Lawrence, why are you dead again? Maybe I should take that sword off him. <laughs> Everyone's a ranged unit, other than Adia. These ones are in for a walloping. That's cool. This corpse better have some good loot on it, that's all I'm saying. Maybe some camping supplies, huh? That would be useful. Sure. Hmm. Wait. I didn't take the seal. I gotta remember to take the damn... Seals of the Endless Paths. What's this? While exploring the Endless Paths, I found a heavy engraved seal. Its purpose is not clear. There are warning inscriptions upon it that bear appear to be in Gwythian. Perhaps I can find more information as I explore further. I'm assuming it's a door for something. That man's head is missing. Oh no. Ooh. Persistence, you say? A unique bow, huh? I don't mind if I do. Uh, it does damage over time. Oh my god. Pass down through the... 
Butanic tribe. This bow was believed to have been blessed by the gods. For every huntress to wield it always returned from the hunt, having successfully downed at least one animal. Arrows fired from the bow, it was said, would find their way unfailingly to a vulnerable point and fell their target. Rather than allow the bow to be possessed by a single person, the tribe considered it a gift to be shared among all its members. One young tribeswoman, however, coveted the bow and its power, believing she might rule her own tribe if only she had the weapon for herself. One day, when given the use of persistence for the day's hunt, she endeavoured to separate herself from her fellow hunters and left, taking the bow with her. You see, the only issue I, I see, see here is that I am not a woman, so... That could be... maybe an issue. A lot smaller. It's a hunting bow rather than a war bow. 16 to 24 rather than 17 to 27. But it has wounding. And reliable. I think a unique hunting bow is probably going to be better. Just for the damage over time. Dam damaging plus three. Yeah. Okay. And it's fast. Which means that we can give Kana our... Our war bow there. Hey oh, there. There we go, an upgrade. And this is where we came from. Yes, it is. Okay, so that looks like it's time for us to go down again. We have taken a beating again. This place is brutal. Oh, I forgot to level up myself. <laughs> for God's sake. I leveled up everyone but me. Level up survival. Uh, what do we want? Swift aim? The ranger gets into a speedy and fluid offensive rhythm, reducing accuracy but increasing fire rate and reload time with ranged weapons and attack rate with melee weapons. Ooh. Defensive bond. The bond between ranger and animal companion yields a pre preternatural awareness of incoming danger, giving both a significant bonus to defense when both are subjected to the same area of effect attack. Area of effect attack? Eh, not so great. Designates a single target as prey, giving the ranger and animal companion a damage bonus against that target. Stalker's Link. Long experience fighting together enables the ranger and animal companion to fight as a highly efficient team. The ranger gains an accuracy bonus when fighting any enemy already engaged by the animal companion could be good. Uh, damage bonus if the creature is suffering damage over time effect. So, not, so only if it's suffering an effect. Arrow sense. You know what, I think marked prey is probably the best choice here. Because we can mark a target and then we'll just do more damage to it. Oh. If everyone would like to uh, come to the stairs down. I'm kind of hoping we uncover a little bit more of the story of this place rather than just, you know, there's a giant statue. I am intrigued. We have found the seal, which is interesting. I wonder what it opens. Hopefully loot. We are getting good loot, which will help us in the main story, I guess. Time will see. Let's go down these stairs and see what happens. Should I rest first? Eh. Durance is looking a bit You must gather up. your party before venturing forth. Lithe. <laughs> It's like, everyone's here. Where's the dog? Oh. Hmm. This place looks exciting, doesn't it? But I think this is where I'm going to end this episode. So thank you all very much for watching. Please like, subscribe. Let me know what you think. Your comments are greatly appreciated. Hopefully, there'll be some more interesting stuff on the floor, this floor of the Endless Paths. Thank you again to the members who help support the channel. It really does mean the world to me. And as always, I'll see you next time.